Before I started PA school, I was an emergency room technician at Forest General Hospital. Um, what we did, there was a wide range of things. We took vital signs, we did compressions during codes, um, put splints on people, so I got really good healthcare experience and was able to learn a lot from that job. Okay, so I worked in a family practice office back in my hometown in the Delta and I kind of just took patients back and I take their vitals and everything and also sometimes I would help out in surgery with him and um, I knew that doctor since I was growing up and um, I've always kind of been interested in primary care. Um, what really intrigued me about the career was how flexible it was and how I was able to prescribe and just be there for patients um, without the length of school um, that med school would require. I've always been a part of a team and I've loved being in that sort of model of teamwork and PA kind of just went along with everything that I had adopted into my, I don't know, I guess system. Uh, I knew I wanted to be in the healthcare profession in some way, um, but I wasn't sure exactly what, and I found out about PAs maybe my sophomore year of college, or no, high school. Um, and I just really liked the idea of how flexible uh, the profession is and you know, your options to move around, and it uh, just seemed like something I would enjoy. Coming from the Delta, I've noticed that there is there are just so many people who just don't know. They just don't know what's going on with their disease or their body or themselves, and that bothers me a lot. And I really wanted to be able to learn how to teach other people to take care of themselves. And I feel like PA school is a great way to do that. And that's what I'd really like to do with my life. So I applied twice, and I applied to six or seven schools both times. The first time I didn't get an interview or anything, but I got some feedback from Dr. Butler at MC, and he said, you know, just everything looks good, go get some clinical experience. So I did that for a year and reapplied, and I got three, three interviews, and I got in. Mississippi College is actually the only school I applied to, so I'm... I'm from Mississippi, so I knew pretty early on that this is where I wanted to be. I only applied once, and I only applied to one school, so MC. I applied to physician assistant school two times. Um, the first year I applied and I did not get one interview and I was very upset about it, but I didn't let that stop me. I applied the second year and next, um, the first year I only applied to three schools. Um, the second year I applied to seven. Um, and I got more patient care experience, so that helped out a lot. And I ended up getting, I think, three interviews total, but I always knew I wanted to come to Mississippi College, so it was an easy choice. What I really enjoyed about um, this program is how it really, um, really wants to turn out physician assistants who are there for their patients. Um, I really like how they keep on emphasizing how we are there for our patients, especially, especially those that are in um, poverty-stricken areas. You really get to know all the students that you're with, and you really get to know your professors as well. They all know your name, and that's um, the way that I enjoy learning. I don't really like to just kind of be one of very many people. I don't really like that. Atmosphere. There's a lot of special things about MC and the PA program. One of the things that I really like is how small it is. We have 30 people in the class and I interviewed at some other schools that were like 60 people and bigger and even at the interview I just got a different feeling from them and here it's like so personal, personable like the teachers and professors are like always there to help you and they know you and it's just like you get that one-on-one -on -one and like personal interaction and our class is really close because we're small so I like that. How much our faculty truly care about making us the best providers. Um, I think just you know you can honestly tell that they really care about working with us now so that we'll go out and be the best providers later on and not only that but I feel like our program has a very personal feel 
um, as far as just kind of like family oriented. We all get along really well and that's something that's made a huge difference to me. I think it's special in that it's the only program like this in the state and so it's sort of like a passion project uh, and now it's started and now it's run um, and everybody here is just really, uh, I really care a lot about it. I've always been interested in dermatology and pediatrics, so I'm thinking maybe one of those two specialties, but who knows, I'm kind of waiting for rotations to figure out more. I am really interested in primary care. I really like the aspect of just being able to talk with my patients and really have one-on-one -on -one conversations about them and their disease and what's going on with them. I think I want to go into orthopedics. Um, it's always just been really interesting to me, but at the same time, I'm open to every specialty in area. So I'm waiting to decide ultimately when I do my rotations. All the hard work that you put into it really is going to make a difference when you're sitting in front of that patient for the very first time and being able to diagnose and help them lead, lead a better life. Just don't give up. You, like I said, you have to take it one day at a time and not try not to get too overwhelmed even though it's really easy to. Um, just take it one day at a time and just, you know, when you get stressed out or when you think you can't do it, just look at the bigger picture. Think about when you're actually going to be sitting in a room with a patient one day Looking, in, looking them in the eye and just, you know, being there for them and being able to treat them and help them with their problem. I'd say good luck and don't give up if you don't get in on the first try. Um, there's just so many people that apply um, and if you don't get in, it's not necessarily that you aren't good enough. It's just that there's so many people that are wanting to get in this, in this career and there's just not enough spots physically in our program. So just keep at it and if they know that you're sticking to it and you keep applying then eventually you will get in.